Okay, guys. So this is the Mark II, which is this version two of our Steam Deck stand. And it's all pretty much the same, except we put Mark II on it, so we would know which one it was. Um, but mainly, this ledge is narrower, and so the Steam Deck sits a little bit more flush. But you'll notice that we had some Bukaki action back here, because we kind of had a lightweight failed print, and so we said, fuck it. This thing takes eight hours to print, so let's just hot glue it, gun it, because I cannot be bothered to print it again. So the plan today is to conjoin the two systems together. So when I say two systems, I mean our <laughs> janky but lovely exhaust blower fan powered right here by our 4500 rpm noctua fan we got it all gasket up nice and tightly sealed and we're gonna go ahead wow look that thing is stuck on there i can just hold it um and then we're gonna attach our 6000 rpm fan right here in the bottom and we're gonna see how well this thing does i'm gonna tell you right now it's probably gonna make a new <laughs> difference but we all printed it and this is for science and my amusement and so i don't feel like such a piece of shit for spending all this time doing all this stuff we gotta test it out so let's go ahead and get it all assembled Okay, so it's probably not going to get any more air sealed. Obviously, we got some gaps here, but this is probably as good as it, I'm going to take it. And so we will just test this. God, it's <laughs> the ultimate Steam Deck dock. Well, technically, it's not a dock because we don't have our dark actual dark portion okay so we're back in the witcher 3 and um, we're on ultra settings. Remember, this is a 2K monitor, but we're still at 1200 by 800 because I don't know how to adjust it, and nor do I think it really matters. Um, we've been on for a few minutes now. We have the ultimate Steam Deck dock. It doesn't get more freaking extra than this. So technically, we're unmodded. Um, we don't have that back port ventilation. God, I need to cut my fingernails. Um, but we do have our thermal pads. So remember, we have thermal pads on the heat pipe, uh, MOSFET, VRM, controller, a little bit on the SSD, uh, just to help with the overall temperature. So your Steam Deck stock will be warmer or cooler or whatever than mine. It's not going to be the same. This is according to this Steam Deck. We have, from our previous video... We have our exhaust fan with our 4,500 RPM Noctua fan. And then back, technically this is the Mark II Steam Deck stand. We have a cheap 6,000 um, uh, RPM fan attached to our intake port that is so cleverly sealed up. So we covered up everything. There are no... There are air leaks. Honestly, there's a lot of air getting pushed back because, you know, that intake in the Steam Deck is not really an intake. It's like maybe a millimeter in, in um, opening. So most of the air is getting pushed out anyways. But for sure, that SSD is running cool. Uh, ultimate Steam Deck dock. It can't, you can't get any better than this. I mean, obviously, this dongle is a little ugly. Um, but come on. We have three fans working now. So we're going to go ahead and hit the time lapse, let this thing warm up. Uh, the temps that we want to see that it beats are this one. So it's 80, 81, 
uh, and 5,300 RPMs on the fan. And I'll redo this paperwork later, but that's what we want to beat. Um, the room is a little bit warmer now. It is 5.5 degrees. Not really negligible amount of extra warmth in here, but let's hit the time lapse and we'll see if this thing gets any hotter uh, than it was with either just the exhaust fan or with the dock. All right, we've been running for about 15 minutes now and I do not believe we're gonna get any warmer. And our room temp's 18, GPU 76, CPU 78, and the fan speed is 4,600 RPMs, which is a finally, after two days of doing these mods on the Steam Deck, we finally got actual good results. Actual good results. And real quick, no results with the dock mod, pretty much ran the same. But with the exhaust, we did notice uh, around two to 300 RPM decrease, but the temps were all the same across the board. No drop in temp, but my hypothesis was correct that if we had both an intake and an ex exhaust fan, we would get some results. The results are not that great, but the results nonetheless. So I can guarantee you... Um, so... Stock 80, 81, 55. Ultimate dock, uh, 76, 78, 5600, uh, 4600. What am I doing? I think I am dyslexic. And obviously with the dock and just exhaust, uh, roughly all, it's a wash. The only fan speed is the difference right there. Um, and we'll talk about this right, a row of numbers afterwards. It works. It freaking works, girl. So, success? Okay, let's go to the download. Whether or not this mod is worth it. I think that's like the show. Whether or not the mod is worth it. Um, yes and no. Uh, if... Uh, if obviously if it was a if it was a cleaner less um jank tastic jank tastic setup then i would say yeah go for it but obviously you see this thing's a lot of work to set up you had to put the tape all that stuff um we have three fans now um one we have our not our normal exhaust fan which is inside here we have an intake fan over here on the bottom and then we have another exhaust fan at the top. We have we have uh, a lot of fans going on here. And let me prop this thing up. See a little bit better what is going on in here. Hopefully it doesn't tip over. Don't tip over. Um, yeah, uh, it's very loud. First of all, um, I didn't. I took some readings while and. Up close to this thing, I mean like right next to it, and honestly this cheap Chinese fan here that runs at 6,000 RPMs is super loud. A lot louder than the Noctua fan, but the Noctua fan was meant to be quieter. But this thing's pushing a lot of air. But remember, the thing is, it's closed essentially, so it's just, all the air is just coming back out. So the shell is super cool com in comparison. But let's talk about noise decibel. So right up to this thing, it's 62 dBs, all right, right up next to it. And then um, about a foot away is 41, two feet away is 37, and three feet away is 34 dBs. With all the fans off and just the stock fan, right up next to it, we have 45 dB, a foot is 32, two feet is 29, and three feet is 28. So 28, once again, sorry, not 34. 28 is about the average room noise right now because it's raining outside. So it's a noisy boy, Six, 62 dB. This thing is screaming. It's like a desktop fan, but it's, run, it's running very cool. All in all, exhaust fan that we created is worthless, um, except for it does drop down the fan speed about three to 400 RPMs but all the temps stay the same. Um, but it is actually louder because this now the fan's in the outside, so it sounds louder now. Um, 
the just the fan doc um has zero change in in the temps the fan speed zero change zero but together there is some change all right so once again those numbers is 7600 gpu 78 and 4600 rpms on the fan so it's a quite a big uh change a, a noticeable change and it really gets me thinking about that jsox um exhaust fan because that jsox exhaust fan is it's just the exhaust fan we're doing two things we're pushing air in and we're helping pull air out how can that fan do 18 degrees cell centigrade i i i i don't understand how that fan fan works and if you don't know what that what i'm talking about i'll just go get so right here is um the steam this is the jsox cooler and it's just an exhaust fan it goes up to 6,000 rpms it is geared to I guess it's designed to be more of a blower style fan so it it's a lot tighter more compact meaning there's gonna be more suction and I, I know that one's gonna work a lot better than this for a fact only not only because the fan ramps up to 6,000 but it also is you know the more the confined the space um, the more the more suction you're gonna get out out of it um so what uh what i plan to do on a later mod is we're gonna refine this um exhaust one to be uh closer to what you would get out of a jsox um fan um but i don't under i don't we have intake and outtake and we're nowhere near 18 degrees c and our best mod the copper mod itself was the copper with the with our fan where a fan mod our lowest temperature was 71 degrees on the gpu 72 on the cpu like we literally put a copper plate got out of all the air resistance and they're claiming 18 degrees like our delta our delta was only a delta uh well the cpu was the highest delta was nine nine degrees with a copper plate with a fan mod nine degrees out of where are these people getting 18 degrees so i'm calling bullshit on that for sure definitely one degree <laughs> but so back to the point yes it works it works it it, it for sure works without a doubt this this mod works and now you you those have been watching uh these this these series of steam deck uh commercial um, commercials mods um you understand you now whoever has been watching this um can know and understand why i put this uh sad fate cause sticker uh on my steam deck because it was uh fortuitous to show you the shame I was gonna bring to this Steam Deck by adding and duct taping all this, these fans and these all these things to it, cutting holes in it and all that. There was a reason why I put that sticker there because it was gonna be shameful what I was gonna do to this. But it, we're doing this so you guys don't have to do it. We're doing it so that we know what is the best cooling solution for our Steam Deck. So, in closing, this mod works we get a delta on average of five five to six degrees oh wait i'm looking at the wrong one <laughs> we get a we get a delta of four so we go down four degrees celsius i guarantee the vrm the ssd are probably running the coolest they have ever ran with this dock 100 percent super duper cool um but the question is is um is it worth it that's what i'm saying is it worth it if you run your steam deck dock all the time and you're really pushing like hard emulation or games like the witcher 3 on some high spec stuff then uh, yeah i would definitely say you know the more fans the merrier let's get that thing cool but 
this circle numbers right here the fan our original mod our fan mod which is cutting the exhaust in the back it gets you a delta of seven was it seven eight on the gpu seven on the gpu and seven on the cpu and you drop your fan speeds by almost 2000 rpms like the original fan mod is the way to go if you really want to push it so uh this 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 thing is crazy that's all i know all i know is thank you guys for watching this um i think we are maybe done with the whole docking the steam deck i have some other ideas for uh, building a dock around the steam deck um that is super gonna keep it cool but honestly i kind of i'm kind of out of ideas to make it any better than this other than upgrading this exhaust fan and or start modifying the shell of the steam deck more which is actually going to be the next video but before i close this thing out um to any lucky viewers and i will just um um pick someone at random i have our original Mar mark one um steam deck um housing case i have so before we finish this out i'm going to do my very first giveaway um and they are going to be our mark one uh steam deck dock so this is the first one that we did um you will get this and you will get one of the first um edition exhaust fans that i created and um all all you have to do is let's say uh comment and make sure you're subscribed and uh in a week i will pick someone in random and i will i will ask them for information and where you want me to send this to you and i will send it to you so you get these two um for free i will even pay postage um, as long as you live in the continental united states i will give these two to you for free it won't come with fans because i need the fans for more testing but maybe one day when the channel grows, we'll have enough fans to be giving out to fans. Oh, shit, pun. Let's go. All right. But um, actually, I might reprint this one because there's a little bit of shakiness in here. And I want to give someone a decent one. Maybe I'll give them the DIY poppy one. Um, but other than that, I hope you guys like this video. Um, I hope you like our ultimate Steam Deck dock with our intake fan our exhaust fan holy shit this thing oh it's actually not that much heavier when you think about it because this is all just plastic like and then the fans don't weigh too much so you could actually rock this thing handheld god this, this is a beast this is a beast now the only problem is powering everything how are you gonna power everything but other than that my name is Nas, a.k.a. DIY Poppy. I'll catch you guys in the next one.